Hi guys, been a long time, the last video, but here's my latest project, is a rocket stove mass heater. Got a 55 gallon drum, and I got a hot water in, it's a tank of a hot water heater. Well, hot, you know, hot water heater. And I cut it on a 45 and I had this part's 22 inches long and the rest of it and I welded it up. Then I got a perlite in there. Had my son help me. We didn't have this cut in half first and I was going to try to wedge it through the hole then up but it was wasn't going to work. So he says just cut it in half dad. I said kid takes after his dad <laughs> but then what it's gonna look like I get that filled up this is the top half it's gonna go down there and that's gonna get welded on that rib all the way around the holes gonna be cut up here about the size of those fire brick the inside part of the fire brick I'm gonna have a hole that size then I'm gonna stack I'm gonna stack fire brick on here around that hole up the height top piece. I don't know if you can see that. My granddaughter said it looked like one of them characters on Spongebob. That's going to be on top and I'm going to hold it about two inches from the top part of that. And then I'll cut a hole for the flexible tube down and right about in here somewhere that flexible duct work at six inch or eight inch they got eight inch or low and then it's gonna run into I'm gonna build and uh, like a waterbed frame I'm gonna run that tubing snake it in there and that inside that waterbed frame then I'm going to fill it all with uh, cob, uh, bentonite uh, clay. It's kitty litter, not the non-clumping kind. And just mix it up and level it off on top. And it'll just be a slab. But I'm going to put some uh, rollers under it because it's going to be kind of hard to move around. And then I'm going to run it out that window right over there for my exhaust. But what it's going to be is a big flat surface so I can put a bunch of trays for my seed starts. And where it's going to burn, right here, I'm going to cut out the outside perimeter of that, them fire bricks, the outside perimeter. And they're going to sit down on the inside on top of a grill, a grate that I'm making. Kind of like I made out of my uh, uh, dryer mass heater. I uh, took these black pipe and I'm going to space them a half inch gaps in between them. And they're going to go down about a uh, little below halfway on the inside and run it all the way through. And I don't know if you remember, but on the, I don't know if I even showed it on my uh, gas dryer mass heater, I had it running through a 20-pound uh, propane tank as the burn chamber and stick they stuck out about all six to eight inches 
and you could take and get that drum on top red hot and you could put your hands on those black carbon pipe on the outside that's how much insulation it had and I'm gonna do the same thing on this except you want to drill holes underneath each one of the pipes I think I had seven on that other one that way it draws air from the inside and your ashes don't smother it plus I think it keeps them uh, pipes cool enough where they don't melt on you don't collapse on you then after I get that done I'm gonna build me another one with smaller pipe to fit down in the, the uh, firebox when I'm burning I'm gonna make like a tube but I'm gonna make them I think wood pellets are quarter inch I'm gonna make them with a 3 16 gap in it all the way around and then put a bottom on it too with the pipe and you could stick that in there and fill it up with pellets and I think you might have a pellet burner so we'll see but I got a this top part my per, uh, perlite only comes up to the cut line I'm gonna cut a piece out section out here and then just fill it that perlite's almost like well water seeks its own level that perlite's so light it kind of seeks its own level too you can uh, jostle it around a little bit and then I'm gonna patch the hole back and be good to go well have you take another look at my I forget what my granddaughter called that I'm gonna have to paint it yellow though because she said it's yellow and it's got one eye. <laughs> so we'll see you. That's about all I got. Later.